current rate of change that we've all been experiencing over the last several years has been breathtaking. And it's not getting any slower, it's only increasing. And so this is making it really hard for everybody to sustain their resilience, their grit, and their commitment, which is leading to more anxiety, burnout, and organizations are losing talent as a result of that, which is making it really hard for companies to maintain internal productivity, as well as the value that they're providing to customers. I may have lost my eyesight, but I gained 2020 vision. And what does it take to help other people visualize their own greatness? Get comfortable with discomfort. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing something despite the presence of fear. People have got to be able to see themselves as successful in that change. Let's thoughtfully reframe our perception to improve our happiness and our success. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chad Foster. So what I like to do that might be a little bit different than some of the other thought leaders out there is I like to break down the anatomy of resilience using the tried and tested tools that I've used in my own life. Now I went blind at 21 years old and I came out of that experience happier and more successful than before. So what I like to do is empower people so that they can emerge from their own setbacks stronger, sleeker, and resolute to succeed so that they can contribute to organizational value. You know, when you stop and you really think about it, this is an incredible time to go blind. Not that I'm recruiting. <laughs> Life is all about our perspective. The stories that we tell ourselves can either keep us trapped or they can help us bounce back. So will we choose to have the mindset of a victim or the mindset of a visionary? My goal today is to help you see the world through a slightly different lens and improve your vision. And the best way to improve your vision is to stop looking all around you, but start looking deep inside you. I really believe that I would be less successful today if I could still see. Going blind forced me to improve my perspective, my focus, my effort, and my determination. I needed something extra to help me bounce back from all of that adversity. What I needed was blind ambition. The hall erupted into applause when we finished, jumping to their feet for an instant standing ovation, and a lot of us had tears in our eyes. Everything was relatable. The feelings and the emotions for me came from his place of honesty. It gave me goosebumps, made me inspired. It was entertaining, it was meaningful, it was just great. I think everyone had a fabulous time. Yeah. Now I refuse to live my life according to other people's expectations of what they think I can do. And I refuse to live my life in fear. And I refuse to let my lack of eyesight limit my vision. What is your vision of greatness? Identify it, believe it, and demand it. And pursue your vision with confidence, with conviction, with blind ambition. Thank you, I'm Chad Foster. Thank you.